Hello there, welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I'm pretty sure I'm rocking the cow ears today for sure. Today I'm going to share with you a tip that has to do with a feature that came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. And so as long as you're in 2011, you're in good shape. You'll be able to work with me here. All right, so hopefully if you're in 2011 or higher, you notice that if I select on a polyline, you'll see that you get these extra grips that we didn't used to have, right? You get these midpoint grips. Oh, that's kind of cool. So what can I do? I can, oh, it looks like I can add a vertex. I didn't have to click or anything. I just hovered over the grip and that shortcut menu showed up, right? Let's see, hovering once again, I can remove a vertex, right? And one more time, I can convert to an arc. Oh, awesome. Why is this so awesome? Because it keeps you out of the dreaded pietic command. Because let's face it, the pietic command is definitely dreaded. Am I right? <laughs> Old command, dusty command. Try to avoid it at all costs. All right, so. That's what you can do with polylines. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Make sure you take advantage of those multifunction grips. All right, so I can also go to a hatch drawing. I have some hatching in here. And actually, this is a non-associative hatch pattern, which used to be a pain to work with, but now they're pretty friendly with the multifunctional grips on non-associative hatch boundaries. Also awesome. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select on this hatch, which incidentally, as I mentioned to you, is not associative. So what can I do? If I move my cursor, you'll see I get another shortcut menu. Oh, same deal, right? I can stretch that vertex out, I can pull that out and change my hatch pattern a little bit. If I hover over a midpoint grip like that, I can also add a vertex, so on and so forth. And you'll see that it automatically updates the hatch boundary. Very cool, super cool. I'll pull this down, pull this one over here, super cool. So you'll also see that you can use multifunction grips on non-associative hatch boundaries. Awesome. So those are just a couple of tips for you. As long as you have AutoCAD 2011 or before, you can use them. And I want you to try them, all right, because they're super, super simple. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Promise? Don't let me down. I'll be looking for you. I'll be looking for you.